Hope you've enjoyed that little montage. So if you're curious, this is a lighting panel that's going into a friend's rig. So he's gonna have some LEDs that run around here and an aluminium cover that sort of sweeps over the side. So these hexagons should poke through and I think they're gonna look pretty cool. I think going forwards, this is probably a good way of handling these little mini projects because I don't think the shorts really work for YouTube. They're just a little bit too short 60 seconds i don't think is enough to put a really good little story into it you spend too much time setting it up finishing it so i think what i'm going to do from now on is i'm going to film these little mini projects that i'm able to properly and then i'll edit them up both for a blog post like this one and then i'll add it to a short or something on instagram or tiktok as well now i also thought it'd be a good idea to do one of these blog posts because lucent part three is in the works but there's an awful lot that needs to go into that one uh, so I thought in the meantime, it would be a good idea just to give you a bit of an update on what's changed in the shop. And also, why have I not been around as so much? Uh, what's been taking up all of my time? So one of the biggest things is I've gone through a couple house moves and renovation projects, and that's really sucked up all of my spare time. Uh, anyone who's gone through that knows just how much of your time that takes up. And unfortunately, that's meant that the workshop has sort of taken uh, the back seat in the meantime. The other problem is this move did mean I had to dismantle the old BitTech workshop, which was quite a sad moment, I've got to admit. It really sort of hit me quite hard how much that space meant to me. Uh, but on top of that, there's just so much stuff in it. For a tiny 10 by 12 foot workshop, it's unbelievable how many things came out and it's completely filled up my shop. My shop is an absolute mess at the moment. So I thought what would be a really good thing for this little video is actually, let's just clean it up a bit. I've got a skip which is going to be coming later in the week. Uh, I've got to get rid of all these things. I've got a room over here, which is just boxes. I've got pallets over there, loads of things. There's boxes from pieces of furniture that arrived. And on top of that, I've got all these tools that came over from the old shop that I need to organize. And this is going to take a long time. So I thought, actually, this is quite a good idea just to show you how much clutter there is. So for some context, just have a look at all this. So some of these projects you may recognize, that's the 1000D from BitTech over there. Still lives. Well, sort of. I wouldn't want to turn it on. Got my old tower mod from the Thermaltake uh, 2017 Invitational. We have the G-Skill rig. Still fully functions, but it does need to be given a proper clean. I'll probably take that to a different space at some point. Got some unfinished bits and pieces, lots of stuff that's moved over, old trophies and things. See, you've got lots of racks of shelving. I'm tripping over things as I'm walking. So that's all gonna have to go upstairs. See, look at this, it's just all become a mess. More shelving over there. I've kept these organized, but again, it's all cluttered. I've got stuff up there that needs to go. Lots and lots of things on this side. I'm still holding on to these trilobites over here. I need to make them out for that at some point. It's just a very big job and I've never done before. So we'll have to see how that one goes. So if we look in here, this became a junk box room. Now it's literally just boxes. It's only boxes from bits of furniture and, and similar. Uh, this room will have to be cleared out and then I'll coat the floor and make it look nice. And we'll have a usable space after that. 
things that did change. This is the old workbench. It's upside down because a bunch of changes need to be made to it before I can uh, use it properly. This is new. So this is my power bandsaw. This has been indispensable. I can't believe it took me so long to get one. Having this nice beefy unit has been really good for large bar stock jobs, especially the thicker brass pieces. And if we come over here, we have my office area. Now at the moment, this doesn't look so great. I had to do a lot of repair works to it recently. So it's a bit of a mess, but at least it does have some carpet down and soon it's going to be painted so it should become nice and homely and i can have a proper place for the 3d printer and things like that yeah this floor is not so great that's got to be fixed so yeah there's an awful lot to do let's get started this is clean again it's so exciting i'm so happy to have a workable space i feel like i can breathe again it's amazing how much it affects your mindset just going into a project when there's clutter on the floor there's mess around the place and it was quite a difficult thing for me to get the spaces operational it did take a solid week of work so working through both the office and the box room, turning that into a photography space. That's great. I can't wait to use that properly. So I'm no longer going to have to do things in the middle of the shop because that's very awkward. Obviously, you've got the machines going, so volume is a problem if I'm doing anything like that. But also just controlling the lighting in here is really tricky. I haven't got dimmable lights and so on. And my studio lights aren't really designed for a space this large so having them in a smaller space where i can minimize the reflections and things especially for shiny uh, metal and acrylic work yeah that should make a massive difference i'm hoping i can get some really cool results out of it and then build it up make it a bit more special figure out what i need to do one thing that won't have been evident in the videos is that i had to put up with this for quite a long time and it really started to affect my workflow but doing something about it required me to do a lot of work and just finding the time where I could devote a solid week to just doing the renovation work here plus all the moving things yeah, very very difficult so I'm glad that I've managed to get that out of the way because now I'm no longer hemmed in by all of the mess 
things on the table can go back to their spots. Things are no longer on the floor. I can maneuver. It just feels so much better. And it means I can really think a lot more freely. So I'm looking forward to using the space now to put out some really cool projects and just share more of what's going on in here. And speaking of sharing, I just want to show you some of the cool bits and pieces that I changed as well. But let's go just take a look at that. This bit's pretty exciting for me because this is the old workbench from my old workshop. Same with my pillar drill. These were sitting there the whole time because I needed a van to move them. And it's just a big job to take all this stuff apart, take it through the house. And really, I need a few people to help with that. So luckily, I did get a hand that I could move these over. And now they're sitting where they belong in the proper shop. And it's good because now I've actually got access to a pillar drill so I can drill things surprisingly difficult. I've got a vise on the corner, which I didn't have. Got a perfect spot now for the arbor press. This has been a great addition to the shop. I use it a surprising amount. I can't believe I didn't get one sooner. And likewise, I've now got proper space for all these other things. So I moved these over quite a long time ago to the shop because they're small and easy to handle. So now they have a bit more space around. This is exciting for me because it means I've now got a proper area to do a lot more of the handwork, which would normally be finished maybe on some of the other tables over on that side. And that clutters up the areas by the machine and I really want to keep those as clear as I possibly can. So this is my mobile cleaning and polishing area. And cool thing is, it's on a cart. So I can easily take it around the shop where I need to, which is good for refilling and draining the ultrasonic little buffing wheel i'm probably going to upgrade and get like a bigger one this one's okay for home shop use but for a shop like this not so much now you see this surface is a bit filthy i need to get that cleaned out that got like that because i was working with some brass and the problem is when you're doing aging of brass it creates like a, a film that you then have to wipe off and that's quite a messy process so we got all over the table i need to sand this off re-oil it and it should be rather nice looking again. The last major layout change of the shop is this corner over here, which has now become my sort of stock prep and general machine storage area. So previously when I was having to prep all of my uh, aluminium and acrylic, I'd be doing it over there somewhere closer to the compressor. And the problem there is it was all spread around the shop. I had the mitre saw uh, over on the other corner and it would create loads of mess over there. And then I'd have loads of mess over here, whereas this way, it's all kept a little bit neater. Likewise, I used to have to trek across the shop to get my fixtures and things, whereas now they're just over here, right next to where the machine is. That seems like a logical choice. Now, there are a few things on here that are just sort of temporary. Like I've got these boxes up here that need to be properly organized and taken upstairs, uh, but I need to make up the shelves up there first before I do that. In the meantime, there's nothing actually that can go there currently. So it's not a bad spot for them. Likewise, I've got a few things down here that need to be sorted. But aside from that, it's, yeah, it's pretty decent. And it's a lot more ergonomic than what I previously had. Now, if you've somehow managed to get to this point in the video without already subscribing, don't worry. It turns out you can fix that. It's quite easy. You just have to click the subscribe button down below. You can also find me over on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram, all linked below. Or if you just want to pop by for a chat and say hello, you can also join the water cooling discord that I'm an admin of, also linked below. It's a great fun community, especially if you want to get into case modding or water cooling in general. There are a lot of really knowledgeable people over there, and it's a fantastic community. Now, as for why you'd want to subscribe, well, you wouldn't want to miss out on the remaining parts of Lucent now, would you? Or what about any super secret projects that might be coming afterwards? Just between you and me, I've got some really cool stuff on the way. You don't want to miss any of that. Now, the next part of Lucent is going to be dropping in a couple weeks. I've got to crack on with that. So until then, take care, and I'll catch you next time.